I am. No! No! Oh god, no, help! Welcome back to Snorter, guys, and today you join us where we have been staying in this new Canadian Runner 02 volcano map. Now, currently we don't really have a house yet, so we have been staying at this motel. And as you can see, the accommodations are, uh, they're not bad. I mean, the sun is coming up. You can easily tell where we're parked in the parking lot. Although I will say, the, uh, the cat eye has gotten a few changes since y'all saw it on the stream when we were exploring this last. So let's go ahead and, uh, walk over to it real quick. And like I said before, as you guys can see, our tires are about the height of a Durango's hood. And, um, it's been repainted. And a couple of interior adjustments have been made. You can see Beans is on the dash now. Um, we've got our uh, we've got a custom dash in there. We've got a race seat. We've got custom gauges. Uh, we've got a boost gauge, water temp gauge, oil temp gauge, voltage gauge. Got a little switch panel down here, and I'm sure that many upgrades to that will be made soon. Now, a lot of you guys were really interested in continuing to explore the environment of this map because. It was so, it was and is so incredibly different from anything that we've seen before. And quality wise and scope of, just scope of what there is here is on a totally different level. And since there's so much of this map that I haven't explored yet, I figured I really needed to give you guys a second video um, really like looking into as many different areas of this map as we could and really doing some legit exploring because in the first episode I got straight into some tasks and I feel like it was good to do that to kind of kick things off but at the same time it took away a little bit from the exploration aspect so that's what we're going to be doing today so let's fire up the truck and go do some exploring now we also uh before coming back into this episode we actually built this bridge the bridge to town so we no longer have to drive through the river which is very very nice and we're actually going to go up this way because there's as you can see a ton of watchtowers up there that have not been unlocked yet so it's early in the morning and you'll really see the lighting change and you'll see the attitude of the map change uh, as we go through the uh, the sort of day cycle here now oh my god I want to go onto this baseball field so bad and you guys wanted me to on the stream but I was like I was in the middle of a task and I was like I don't know about it but I think this is the very first time I think I have ever driven on a baseball field in SnowRunner. And I don't think there's any other map that allows you to do donuts on a baseball field. What? I didn't think that I would ever be saying that. But legit, we just did donuts on a baseball field in SnowRunner. I, I am already, already I can say that I am blown away at the level of detail this map goes to with trying to make you feel immersed. I mean, he goes to the, to all of these great lengths to make sure that there is like, you know, if there's a town, there's like a baseball field. And if there's like, let, let's say like, I don't know, um, like a recreational building in the town, there will be a legit playground out behind the building. I mean, just because that's what there would be in real life. Now, this bridge, I've never actually gone across yet. So this actually says, let's see, city central. And you've got, ooh, you got pieces of a giant dump truck over there. You've got actually a lot of large trailers over here. That's really cool. This is basically the city trailer store, which is really cool. Um, so if you want to pick up some trailers, you can. These bridges are already built, thankfully enough. And over here, actually, we've got a lot of mud over there on the left. But I'm actually going to head straight on and see what we can find in terms of watch points. That have, whoa, that's a, that is an extremely extremely tall mountain holy smokes let's go ah, to the left because that's like the most far away or the farthest i should say the farthest away from anything that i've seen out here yet so this is really truly uncharted territory for me look at those cliffs though those cliffs are absolutely wild i gotta figure out how to get up there potentially just through here Ooh. Oh, oh, actually, that's a watch point right there. So that works out perfectly for us. Let's lock it into low play. Oh my god, that got that got gnarly real quick. Wow. I think my axle got hung up on like a, uh, a like a tree root or something. Probably a combination of a tree root and the mud. Let's throw it back in automatic now. 
This thing has really, really, really good automatic mode programming, so I don't really feel like I'm all, at all that much of a disadvantage by... Ooh, we got a swamp down there. But I don't really feel like I'm at much of a disadvantage if I leave it in automatic sometimes, even when I'm going uphill, because all you got to do is bump the clutch, and it'll either change up or change down in accordance with the situation you're in, and the changes are instant, so it's not something you really ever have to quote-unquote worry about. Now, the further you get up this cliff edge, the more mountainous everything gets, and I'm really excited to see what this Watchpoint Discovery actually reveals to us. So let's see. Woo! Promoted and wow! Stuck in the swamp. We got a lot of tasks uncovered, and this trail goes on. Whoa, that swamp is huge. Yo, there's a truck stuck down in there, although I can't really tell what it is from this angle, but... Holy smokes, like literally we just unlocked so much stuff. As the sun continues to rise, we're going to head up this cliff side. And the cliff side could get really gnarly. It could turn into a very risky road with some big drops and high stakes that come with those big drops. So let's keep on trucking along and find out what we, uh, what we can see. That swamp seems to go on for miles Oh boy, look at this. The jump challenge? The jump cha- Look at this cliff! Oh my god. Is that a ramp that go- Bro. That's potentially the biggest jump in SnowRunner. Oh my god. We've got to get up there. I think that's supposed to be Old Meteor, Meteor Tower? Not Old Meteo Tower? I don't know. Maybe that... Probably probably Old Radio Tower. It was probably a typo. But, you know, th this is one of those maps where, like, it's so huge that... I mean, there's gonna be a, there's gonna be little typos here and there, and, and dude, I completely understand that. I would have loads of typos if this was my map. I'd have more than loads of typos. I'd have floating rocks and just crap that didn't make sense everywhere. Whoa, bouncing around through here, but that suspension's soaking it up very well. We have got to get up there. We have spotted literally the craziest... Oh, actually, hold on. Let me just, uh... Let me just, like, pull the fuel out of my bumper real quick to refuel the truck. It's such a comedic, you know, feature, but it does work. I, it, it surprises me, actually, at how much it, like, how well it works. I mean, it's just, like... You can code the fuel into whatever you want. I mean, if he wanted to code the fuel into the taillights, he probably could. Deep ruts going on here. Deep, deep ruts. Is that a... Oh, no, okay. It picks up up there. I was like, where does that rock crawling trail start? I thought I saw a little bit of a cutout in the rocks, and I was like, no, no way they expect us to go up that... What? I'm sorry. What is that? Whoa! Whoa! That hasn't been revealed to me on the map yet, but that's what's on the other side of the swamp. Holy crap! This map is just endless surprises back to back. I'm so glad that you guys encouraged me to come back here and do a second round of exploration because, oh my god, there is so much here! But like I said, we're gonna postpone that until after we discover if this jump is what I actually think it is or not. It should be what I think it is. And actually, I'm getting mad, like, Mount Chiliad GTA vibes from this. this. Seriously. Maybe not quite as tight as Mount Chiliad, but, like, especially with that jump at the top, that is literally the, gonna be, if it is what I think it is, it's gonna be the SnowRunner equivalent of Mount Chiliad. So, I cannot wait to see if that's actually the case. Alright, Beans, you ready to go? Oh, no! Come on, come on, Duramax. Lay the boost to it. Well, and the fuel. Oh, God! It, the axle bounced off that rock and it started stalling me out. And I'm like, no! So I suppose you could go straight if you were crazy. <laughs> if you were insane, you could go straight. But, uh, I mean, I'm only, like, only partially nuts. So I'm gonna go this way. Easy. Wow, you climb so far so fast. That's wild. And you could also, like... Oh, you could see so much even just from here. God, that's insane. The, the views, like... The views that you could get from, like, these little overlooks. The map design. Oh, my God. The map design. 
the fact that he gives you all these different overlooks as you go up the mountain to sort of give you an idea of how high, not only how high you are, but how much higher you're going to get as you go up the mountain. That is amazing map design. And the map, like the design work that's gone into this, mind-blowingly wild. Mind-blowingly wild. What are you? You're a task. My own man discovered. Uh Ooh. Ooh. All right. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Come on. Nothing some big tires and some uh combination of a lot of boost and a lot of fuel can't fix. Right up the side. Let's go. No trail needed. Come on. Oh no. Oh, God! I don't think we're going to be able to get it back into high on an incline like this, but we can try. Oh, crap. I tried laying the power to it again, and it was like, yeah, we're... It's like, we're sorry. This operation cannot be completed as requested. Oh, boy. There you go. There you go. There you go. Scramble. Not bad. All right. So, there's another... There's another watch point up there, but that's not my... <laughs> that is not my objective at the moment. No, sir. My objective is down here. Oh, y'all know what it is, too. Y'all y'all know exactly what it is. Holy crap. Ooh, abandoned car discovered? What the heck? I mean, I see the... Obviously, I see the start zone for it, but I see no abandoned car. Obviously, it's not anywhere, like, super close to right here. There's so many tasks to do. Like, you could literally fill an entire stream with doing tasks on this map, and there would still be more tasks to do. That's how many freaking tasks there are. Like, bro, it's it's absolutely wild. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Yeah, don't you stop on me now. Oh, I see a flag up there. Oh, what? You're, you have climbed up all this, and you're going to let that tiny little lip stop you? I don't think so. Oh. Right. So, what exactly is the objective here? The 720 jump double backflip down the mountain challenge. Rules are simple. You jump down the hill, and you try to aim for the target zone. 20 by 20 meters size. Why would I do that? Hmm. Why not? Sounds like the logic I usually, uh, I usually employ when I create challenges. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh my god, look at this! Oh my god, look at this! Oh, this is terrifying. This... This... Oh! telling you right now if y'all ever wanted the ultimate yeet the yeet to end all yeets this is that yeet this is the yeet to end all yeets and it will be taking place right here today i mean look at look at the difference look at the difference in <laughs> oh my god <laughs> ah <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna stop, like, freaking out about it, and I'm gonna actually do it. Woo! I am... No! No! Oh, God! No! Help! Oh, that's really almost what we had. Hey, there you go. That's what we had. Now, obviously, we're on... Now we're on Nitto Trail Grapplers and Fuel Mavericks, but a bit different, but no big deal. All right. Let's start the challenge. Three... Two, one, go! Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Go, 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 later to the proper spot! Oh! Perfect! Perfect! Bug, empty description. 
Oh, that's brilliant. And now we're literally like sticking out of the ground like a yard ornament. Okay. And now we're back at the garage. So, if you guys enjoyed that exploration video out here on Canadian Runner 02, uh, the old volcano, then make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time.